All right, now today this video will going to be a little bit special because I will not going to put any background music. Why this happened is because I don't want to get the copyright. Recently, I also don't know what is going on. Like all the no copyright music suddenly become a copyright music. I'm not sure it is the YouTube system problem or the distributor itself problem because it's like suddenly the no copyright music become like a copyright music. Like my previous video actually also got the copyright already, so which is actually quite bad. It's like a hard work and suddenly just got nothing. I was going to do the another videos to talk about this one again, but just let you guys know that today this video will going to have no background music. If you feel this video is very boring, I'm so sorry, but I'm still hoping you guys were going to watch the videos until the end. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before the video start, I want to say thank you so much for the last week video. It seems like the result is actually quite good, even though it's not a lot. But I still feel very grateful that's actually got still a lot of you guys coming back to my channel and watch me doing the tutorials video. So yeah, thank you so much. In the previous video, we're talking about how to use the LMMS to make music. Basically, it's just like showing you guys the whole process of making music by using the Freedo software LMMS. And today, I would like to talk about the foundation of making the music in LMMS, which is the piano roll. So piano roll, usually you are going to get from the plugin itself, no matter you are using like a VST plugins or you are using the samples from the audio processor in LMMS, which is this one. Once you click two times in this bar, you are going to get it this piano roll. Now there's actually got the two options to use the piano roll. The first way is actually using the MIDI keyboard. Now I have a problem of using the MIDI keyboard, like for example the latency. So if you are using the MIDI keyboard in LMMS but don't have the latency problem, comment down below and let me know how you actually do that. So in the end, I use the option two, which is using the mouse to control. So how I actually use the piano roll to make the music. So the first thing that you actually have to know is the time signature in the piano roll. Why I mean the time signature in piano roll is that usually when we count the music, we're going to count one, two, three, four. That's the time signature. Now, usually if you want to know how you can determine that's actually got the four bits in the bar in piano roll, you can actually count like this one, two, three, Four. Now you can actually just right away know the bars and the beats in the piano roll itself from the color as you can see from here. Now the reason why I want to show you guys this is because I realized that's actually got most of the people don't know how to use the piano roll. It's not because they don't know how to notate the notes inside. It's because you don't know how to determine the time signature from the piano roll. Now I think this one is also happen in most of the beginner using any of the DAW software. So just have to let you guys know. Now the rest of it, we're going to be a little bit different with the other DAW software, which is notation. Now let's say you want this four notes to be a little bit longer. You can actually do like this. Once you got this arrow like this, you just click it and then pull to right and you are going to get the long notes. Now, if you want to get the longer notes for this entire notes here, you can click this one and then pull like this and then click back again and then pull. Okay, now the another thing is, let's say you don't want the notes to be like this. You want the note to be like even smaller range. You can actually click this one. The bigger the numbers at the right side here, it means that the smaller of the notes you can notate. Now, after you're doing this, you can actually do like long shots, long shots freely. Now, if I put back like the same just now, you will realize that this one actually cannot like pull it freely. As you can see, it looks very robotic. So for those who are using the MIDI keyboards in LMMS, this is actually quite nice to use it, yeah, very convenient. And then this one, I don't usually pay a lot of the attention because it's like very, very specific. So I don't use it. 
for this one, the scales, I actually not sure how to use this, but I think it's actually also a very nice tool. If you know how to use this one, comment down below and let me know as well. But for this one, I think it's actually pretty nice to use it, especially for those who actually don't know like a lot of the music theory things. You can actually use this card to like explore to make your own special chords like that. I think it's actually a pretty nice piano tools in LMMS, so you guys can try it out. Okay, now I would like to show you guys how I actually make the music in the piano roll. So this is actually the piano sound as you can hear. So now I would like to maybe put some chords itself like that. So maybe I would like to start with the major. And then... Maybe just remain the major and then minor and then major again. Okay, now we got everything. Now I would like to do the melody. So before you want to do the melody, make sure you put the no chords. So put back the no chords. Then we start to make the melody. So I want to do like as easy as possible. So just put the scales. And then this is actually the G major scales. So I think this one still can work. So copy, paste. So just do like this. Okay, and then now next one is actually So something like this And then if let's say I want my melody sounds more obvious, so I would like to do like this, put all the chords like this. Then after that, I put the velocity. Velocity is means the volume of the notes. Now maybe I want to put around like 60, maybe 61 like that. Now maybe 63 is fine. Okay, let's listen. So there you go. This is how you use the piano roll in LMMS. So this is actually quite easy to use. I don't think it's actually really need to like explain even further more like every single note from the piano roll itself because I think once you get used to it, you will understand all the tools inside there. So please stay tuned. I will going to keep moving on this tutorial session. And if you like today's video, found this video is very useful. Help me share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you got any question you would like to ask me from today's video, comment down below and let me know. So I will see you guys in the next video.